Hello everybody, I wanted to make a video um, answering some of the questions that I get asked a lot. Um, I don't have any trouble answering the questions as they come in, but it does tend to be a lot of the same questions, so I thought it might be helpful to put it all down in one video. So, let's get started. Number one, with my list, here it is. How many locks do I have? I have 80 locks. Um, how long have I had my locks? It has been seven years maybe six no seven seven years seven years in April um, how did I start my locks um, let me just preface this by saying that when I started my locks I knew nothing about him I didn't do any kind of research I just knew that I saw some people on the streets with locks and I thought they were really pretty and I decided that I wanted them after all the issues I was having with the salons and my you know relaxed hair I just wanted something natural when I thought locks was the way to go so I pretty much said I want that and made an appointment and got it the next week. But pretty much what I, I got, I started off my locks with yarn braids. And that's pretty much like a wool yarn that you braid into your hair. Like, like you know, regular braided extensions. And a lot of people use um, this method when they have, like, relaxed and that they have coming off a perm or a texturizer. Um, stupid me, I had a relaxer. I cut it all out. I grew my hair for about three months before I decided I want locks. And then I got the, the um yarn braids I could have just went right to the braids for my relaxer and because you know but I didn't know that but um my mistake I should have done some research before I changed my hairstyle whatever but um pretty much the yarn is cool because you can keep it in your hair indefinitely you wash your hair with the braids in um it looks more like natural hair because uh it, does, it doesn't have this that that fake sheen that the synthetic hair has it looks more like natural hair it looks almost like locks from a distance actually um I know some people, I know a lady who has had a locks probably going on nine years and she still has the yarn ends, the yarn like braids at the end of her locks. So um, that was cool. And then after six months when my hair was fully locked, I cut the yarn braids out and I had pretty much instant teenage locks. It was kind of cool because, you know, a lot of people, when you have baby locks, your hair is very delicate. You have to be very careful with the way you wash your hair. You have to be very careful about, you know agitating the locks and losing, you know, losing the lock or having heavy hairy part every time you wash and that's not the way it is when you have yarn braids. So I started my hair with yarn. Um, how did I get the color? Um, in some of my earlier videos you see like the red color I used to have in my hair. Um, pretty much that was a mixture of a lot of things. I, uh, first thing I tried was I just got a box of red color from Walmart, a box of Clairol I think it was, and I used that and that didn't really give me any, not much results. My hair is dark brown, it didn't show up too well. Um, then I had a friend of mine, she was a licensed cosmetologist, I think the word is. And she bleached my locks white blonde, and um, we put a red rinse over that. And that was pretty bright, it was a nice bright red. But the thing about rinses is they come out, you know, it was rubbing off on my white t-shirts, it was rubbing off on my pillowcase. Um, when I washed my hair, there's like red water flying everywhere, spotting the walls. It wasn't very convenient, so we washed that out, and then I tried to put the Clairol back in again with the my hair bleached, and that was nice, but it was um a little bit more subdued. I wanted a really bright red, like you know, fire engine red. So then we found L'Oreal High Lift, and it's um that's a highlighter. It's a paste that you mix with developer. Um, it has a built-in lifter in it as well, and that's what gave me the red that I love the most, the bright red that you know I, I wore the longest but the problem was my friend had no experience you know with coloring locks and I didn't know anything about coloring locks and we made a few mistakes along the way we, we did do things the way we should have and my hair was really damaged in the end um, it was like really dry and it was crackly and it was breaking and so I decided to give up color altogether but then my hair faded to this horrible pink like pinkish orangish color it was really bad so I had to do something so um then I tried henna in my hair and I tried that last year I did it twice last year but I wasn't really satisfied with the color and it took a lot a lot of work to go into it like a lot of work and um so basically I haven't colored my hair since last year August and this is what I'm left with right now this color it looks more reddish sometimes in the sun it looks brownish orangish now I don't know whatever I'm probably going to color it again red soon, but um, for now I'm just content to let my hair heal itself, get healthy again. Um, 
Why did I switch to latching from palm rolling? Um, you know, if, if I... Basically, when I, I switched to locking first because I just wanted the freedom from the salons as well as I want to be able to do my own hair. I wanted my hair to be natural and I wanted, I wanted the freedom from, you know, being scared to get your hair wet and being scared to go in a pool. You know, I, I wanted I wanted to get away from the fear of water, pretty much water touching your hair. And um, like I said, if I had known more about locks when I started them, I probably would have went more towards latch locks or sister locks, but I didn't know and I went with palm rolled locks and pretty much I found myself I found myself caught up in the same trap where I was scared to get my hair really wet, you know. I was I didn't want to go in the pool. Because you know, when you have palm rolled locks when you get your hair really wet, the um the hair the roll will unravel and you have, you know, thick, you know, thick your hair is never locked at the root. So like all this hair that wasn't locked would puff up and I would have like a little afro with locks coming out of it, which I don't like the way that looked. And basically, to give an example, my boyfriend and I, we went to um, the Dominican Republic on vacation two or three years ago, and at the time I was palm rolling and going to the salons, I asked my loctician to give me a hairstyle that would, you know, keep my hair from unraveling while I was on vacation. So she braided my hair into this braided, pony, um, braided, breh, braided ponytail bun, and it was really, really, really tight. It hurt a lot. Um... I couldn't turn my head to the side. I got these bumps all on the back of my head from, you know, the braids being too tight. Um, I mean, I was able to go into the pool like I wanted and go into the ocean and all that stuff. And my hair didn't, you know, still look good by the end of the week. And I didn't have to go back into the salon again. But it was just a, like at what expense, you know. I was, in, I was in pain. I got headaches. And, you know, also... I like to show off my hair, you know, I like to fling my hair around once in a while and I couldn't, you know, the whole vacation my hair was in this tight little bun. I was never able to let it down to different styles, you know, when we went out to the restaurants at night, I wasn't able to do things with my hair because I was afraid of it getting ruined, so I kept it in this tight little bun and, you know, whatever. So, I feel like, when, you know, latching gives me that freedom that I really wanted from the beginning and if I had known that I probably would have gone from the beginning with, you know, maybe sister locks or some other braid locks or some of the latch lock, you know, but, um, because I didn't know, I just went with what I, what the first thing I could find. But that's pretty much why I switched to latching. Um, also, it's easier for me to do myself. I tried to, when I tried to, to wash and palm roll my hair myself, it was this five-hour ordeal, and my hair didn't look that good afterwards, and it just wasn't, it wasn't working. So, that's why I switched to latching. Um, how often do I latch, and how long does it take me to latch? Um... Well, when I first started latching, I used to latch like every... Guys! Hey! Sorry, my cats are fighting. Um, when I first started latching, I used to latch every few days. I, uh... I'm all distracted now. <laughs> I latched every few days. I had my, my tool by my bedside, and as soon as I found a loose lock, I would, you know, do... Latch it right away. I kept my hair all looking very nicely, freshly latched all the time. Um, that was a year and a half ago. Um, now, that took me, you know, five minutes. Every, every, every couple, twice a week or whatever, I would just find whatever had grown out and I would tighten it up five minutes, whatever. Very easy. Now I latch um, probably every two to three months. Uh, you know, I like, I like my hair. I like a different look now. Before I used to like, before I used to like a very neat manicured look where you can see the parts you can see the scalp i'm not like that so much anymore i like my hair to look like this like a little bit more filled in you know this a little bit more organic i guess um so now i latch every two to three months um i think if i were to sit down and try to do it all at one time probably be looking at an hour and a half maybe maybe two hours of work but um i don't do that that's ridiculous I don't want it to be a stressful experience, so usually I'll latch, you know, the front part, half an hour, one day, then three or four days later when I feel like it, I'll latch the middle, you know, then I'll latch the back a few days after that. So I never really sit down and latch it all at one time. So it's, you know, it's hard to give an exact time, but that's the part also of the freedom of latching, you know, you can do it when you want. A few here, a few there, you know. It's pretty easy, it's a really care for your hairstyle. So, I think that's all the questions. Um, if you have anything else to ask me, 
post it and rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.